So on February 8th, I was scheduled to speak at Asbury University Chapel. And uh, on February 7th, God really moved at a ministry up in Columbus, Ohio. So I was coming home from Columbus, Ohio late at night. And I thought I would wake up early, go to a coffee shop, do my sermon prep, go to chapel. And I was already planning on taking a nap that afternoon. But on February 8th, I had the opportunity to preach Romans 12, 9 through 21 on authentic love. And I had the opportunity to just kind of walk through those verses and challenge the students at Asbury University if they want to experience the authentic love of God so they can authentically love one another, would they stay? Uh, this is what college students do. They all left uh, and ran out to lunch or class or whatever. But 19 students stayed in the chapel, Hughes Auditorium, and those 19 students cont contended to experience the love of God. And through that, over time, students started coming back to chapel. A couple days later, people from the world started flying in, regionally come flying in, and then 16 days later, we've seen this unbelievable move of God uh, that has absolutely changed my life and many students' life. So uh, from February 8th to February 23rd, we saw uh, estimated between 60 and 70,000 people come to Wilmore, Kentucky to experience God and how he was moving in Hughes Auditorium and around the city. And then, yeah, on February 23rd, it kind of all transitioned and catalyzed to the nations. And since then, I transitioned out of my role with the Christian Missionary Alliance and have full time uh, just been walking and and sharing about the Asbury outpouring uh, around here in Kentucky, regionally in the United States, and around the world. I've had opportunities to go to Israel, uh, to Southeast Asia, all over Europe, and meet with leaders who are desiring a fresh outpouring of the Spirit. Uh, and it's been an honor of a lifetime. This is a real, is a re really beautiful story that's kind of funny, but I think it takes the pressure off of people like myself and maybe those who are watching as uh, I get done preaching and I, I totally ran out of time. I had seven more slides and I was just kind of embarrassed. So I pray to finish the sermon on February 8th and I get down in my chair. And I don't know about you if you preach, but that's just like the most tender, uh, for me, sometimes the most insecure moment of the day when I'm preaching and I text my wife uh, hey, I laid a stinker. I'll be home soon for a nap. And I never got home that day. And I didn't take a whole lot of naps for about 16 days. And it's been really cool just to tell that story. One, it's funny. But two, it just gives us a lot of permission to be pretty unremarkable and just rely on the Lord. Philippians 3 talks about uh, Paul. He says, if you want to have confidence in the flesh, let me have confidence in the flesh. And Paul runs down his resume. But he says all that's uh, rubbish compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus our Lord. So my experience of February 8th is a lot of freedom to be pretty unremarkable and ordinary and just be used by God. So moving forward since February 8th, you know, I had no plan for this to be the case. So in January of 2023, 20, I would have said, you know, I think it's going to look like this and this. And then God encountered us corporately, but me individually. So uh, what I do know is what God did at Asbury University and Seminary has opened doors to meet with leaders, church leaders, governmental leaders. When I get to have these conversations, we're really talking about what does it look like uh, to be a vessel prepared for an outpouring, to be a leader prepared for an outpouring. So I believe uh, for the time being, I'll have the opportunity to talk about preparing uh, the interior life, our characteristics, the exterior expression, our practices to be leaders that could steward an outpouring uh, in a way that would bless others. As long as there's invitations to go and share and encourage, um, my family and I are prepared uh, to obey uh, the assignment from the Lord.